So do you remember this pivotal scene where we finally have a face-to-face battle with the uruk High? We followed the Fellowship for two movies, and one of our strongest members is, uh, spoiler alert, <laughs> is tragically cut down by one of the best villains in Lord of the Rings, the uruk High. So what makes these villains work so well? Why are they so formidable? Well, in the world of Lord of the Rings, there are a few different types of orcs, but to keep it simple for this video, We'll just stick to the uruk and regular orcs. So regular orcs are certainly nothing to sneeze at. They're vicious and dangerous for sure, and they're definitely not pretty to look at. But they're not the deadliest villains the Fellowship has been up against. Regular orcs are smaller with bent bodies that aren't exactly built for speed and agility. But eventually we are introduced to the uruk a new breed of orc. They're taller for starters, and they're all built like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Unlike regular orcs, they can be exposed to sunlight without consequence, and they have enormous amounts of stamina. Meaning even after they cross huge amounts of land on foot, they still have enough energy to kick your ass when they find you. I've mentioned in other videos, one characteristic that makes for a great villain is one who is evenly matched with the hero. It's hard to achieve genuine suspense when every enemy is no contest for the protagonist. The Uruk-hai exists to do two things, chew gum and fight to the death. And they're all out of gum. <laughs> but you take my meaning. This breed of orcs are fighting machines. Okay, so we know why the idea of these characters works so well, but we have to talk about the execution of bringing the Uruk-hai to life in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, because it was flawless. Modern day interpretations of orcs have these battle-hungry creatures dressed like druids, just draped in various layers of fabric. This poor guy even gets stuck in his own hood. It just doesn't have the same effect. One of the great things about the Lord of the Rings trilogy is the costume creators at the Weta workshops didn't just create wardrobes to look like armor. It was armor. They employed all sorts of experts who ate, slept, and breathed armor. How it was made, how it should fit, how it moves. Authenticity was at the top of their list when they set out to turn these books into movies all those years ago. So, what do you think? If you could wave a wand and have J.R.R. Tolkien see the Lord of the Rings trilogy, what do you think he would think of it? Would it have been just as he imagined it, or better even? Who knows? But it is for all of these reasons that the Uruk-hai definitely make my list of best villains.